body strength with Chrissy. That is what we're going to be doing. All you need as equipment wise is a few dumbbells. So I've got two fives here, five kgs and one 10 kg, because I'm going to be doing a dumbbell swing. Uh, if you have a kettlebell, I'd recommend using a kettlebell. You can actually use one instead of dumbbells for this workout. So the first thing we're going to do is warm up and then I'll go through the workout and then we'll smash the workout. So the first thing, we're going to be doing some lateral lunges. So I'm going to be doing 10 on each side, 20 total, really stretching out your groins. Start on the left hand side and drive over to the right, just like so. You know what, lately I've been testing a little bit of a spin bike. I ordered a spin bike um, because I originally wanted a treadmill, but then they were sold out because of COVID. So I ordered a spin bike. And as much as I do like cycling, I'm feeling it a lot on my knees. I don't know if you guys have that experience. So it's funny because with skipping, I don't feel it on my knees. So if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. Give me two more, one, two, good job. What we're going to be doing now is a static lunge and you're going to bring your arms up, rotate 360 and you're going to do five on each leg. Two, three, four, five. Good job, change. Ready? One, two. By the way, I've got a spray tan. That's why I'm pretty tanned right now, you know? Pretty, pretty sun-kissed. Give me one more. Good job. We're gonna stick with the 360s, feet shoulder width apart, 360, 10 clockwise and 10 anti-clockwise. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. Good job. Good job. Now we're gonna do some presses. So you want to go behind your head just like so, contracting your scalpula together before coming back up. One, two, three, four, five, three more, six, seven, eight, good job. Next we're going to do a squat and a press, so you're going to squat down, press up, contract your glutes. The reason I want you to do this as a warm up is because we're actually going to do a squat and press with a dumbbell as our main. You ready? One, squeeze your glutes. Two, three, four, five, six, good job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You should be pretty warmed up. If you're not, I'd recommend redoing this warm up, coming back and you're good to go. So the actual workout itself, are you ready? Okay, you're gonna like this one, I know you will. So we have six exercises. I always look over here because this is where my whiteboard is. This whiteboard has saved my entire 14 day challenge because if I mess something up, that's on me. So I wanna get everything right. So this workout is consisting of six exercises. We have a dumbbell swing, so I'm using a 10 kg for that. That might be a little bit heavy actually, but we'll have a go. We're gonna go down, swing up, contract. Swing up, contract. As you see, I'm not going all the way up. We wanna make sure we're keeping our back straight at all times. I just wanna show you before we get cracking. So my feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. I'm externally rotating my feet outwards. I'm squ squatting down, coming up, squeezing. You're working your shoulders, your core, your glutes. You don't want to come up too high. <sighs> Just like so, keeping everything super, super tight. Then we're going into a dumbbell push-up. So I'm using my five kgs. The reason I'm doing this, it, it provides a little bit more depth. So push-up, I'm going to come down, I'm going to come up. If this is too difficult, you're going to go on your knees same principle. It just adds a little bit more depth. The next exercise is a squat and a press. So you can use one or two dumbbells. You can come down, come up. So it's almost like an Arnold press and up. If you just want to use one dumbbell, 
simply just squat down, press up. I might alternate, depending on how it feels. From there, you're actually gonna be doing Arnold presses. You can do these kneeling down, if you wish, or standing up. So, you're gonna start here with your palms facing your face. You're gonna rotate your arms, bring your arms up with, contract your shoulders, bringing them back down, and as you bring them down, you're gonna rotate your palms yet again towards your face. Can you see that? Rotating as you come down, rotating as you come up. That rotation right there, that rotation is key. So you don't wanna come down, then rotate. You wanna rotate as you come up and as you come down. Then, moving on from there, we're going into a plank arm out. So we've done these ones before. So core nice and tight, arm out, arm out. You don't wanna be swinging left and right. You wanna keep everything super engaged. And finally, we're sticking to that plank position, but instead, we're gonna be doing shoulder taps. As you can see, wrist, elbow, shoulder, in alignment, always, 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 always. You don't wanna to be too forward, you don't wanna to be too over. Everything is always in alignment. Same with your neck and your spine. I don't want you looking up, left or right. Everything in alignment, core nice and tight, your coccyx bone into your body, core, exhale, then tap, 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 tap. Everything super steady and everything really nice and tight. I love using that word when I train because as soon as I use it, people go, oh yeah, and they go and perk up a little bit. Everything in alignment, tight and right. Keep it tight, keep it right, keep it nice. Okay, so who's ready? I've gone through the exercises with you. So now you know exactly what, what each exercise entails. Now we're gonna absolutely smash it. So the first exercise is a dumbbell swing. If you have a kettlebell, I strongly recommend using a kettlebell. So we're doing 10 to 12 reps. I'll let you decide how many reps you want to do. Try and aim for 12 if you can. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, don't over hypo extend, keeping your core tight, everything really nice in alignment. Good job. Come on, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, core tight, 11, 12. From a dumbbell swing, we're going straight into a push-up. So like I said, elevated using our dumbbells. Let's go. One, two, three, Two more. Good job. Good job. Coming up, we're going straight into squat and a press. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. Squat and a press, we're doing 12 reps. Keep your knees out when you're squatting down. Press up, breathe out. Come down. Elbows touching your knees. If you can't get that deep, it's okay. Work with what you got. Everyone's mobility, it's different, just work with what you got. Keep going. Good job. Seven, eight, nine, don't give up. 10, distribute your weight. Don't come up on your tippy toe. One more. Good job. Straight into an Arnold press. I'm gonna be on my knees. It just helps me not bounce around too much. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Remember that rotation, bring it in. Ha, good job. Come on. Good job. Two more. And one more. Good job. Straight into a plank, arm out, then plank, shoulder tap. Are you ready? We're doing 10 on each arm. 20 total, let's go. Arm out, core tight, everything in alignment, good job. Four, five, come on. Six, 
Come on, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From there, you're doing shoulder taps. Are you ready? This is gonna be painful because you're staying in the same position. Let's go. One, two, three, good job. Four, core tight. Five, six, seven, eight. Push up, nine, 10. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, great job. That, those together, there's a reason I put them together because you're doing a kettlebell, I keep saying kettlebell, I'm so sorry, a dumbbell swing. <laughs> so when you're swinging up, you're using your core yet again, you're using your shoulders. Notice that movement, Oof. it's almost like you're doing a front raise. So we're really working that anterior deltoid. So since you're coming here, you're going boom, you're work, working the outside, you're also working your core, you're working your glutes, you're working everything. From there, you're going into a push-up. Push up, you're working your chest. Yet again, you're hitting this front area as well. So you're working your chest. You're also in a plank position, so your core needs to be nice and tight. Have you noticed how I've put all the exercises together? It's meant to intensify that area of your body and really build that strength. So from a push up, then we're going into a squat and press. So we're working our legs yet again. We worked our legs with the dumbbell swing, so we're working our legs yet again with the squat and press. The press also entails your shoulders to work. This time, you're pressing up, you're working all your delts. Boom, really powerful. Straight from there, Arnold. That's an isolated movement, really powerful, good on strength. And then finally, you're working your core, you're working your full body by keeping it upright with the plank movements. And I've added two plank movements, one after the other, because I'm an evil bitch, so I thought, why not? Anyway, so, power round. Less talking, more moving. You're gonna enjoy it. You ready? So, here we go. Dumbbell swings. Always bend down, pick something up. Let's go. In three, two, one. Nice and strong, let's get it. One, two, bend. Three, good. Four. Come on. Seven, come on. Eight. Nine, core tight. 10, 11, 12. Good job, bring it back down. Everything really nice and controlled. Let's get it. Push up, using the dumbbells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come on. Eight, nine, 10, good job. Straight into a squat and press. This time I'm using 10 kg because I just wanna, I just wanna feel it a bit more, yeah? Come on, we're working here. We're not giving up. Let's get it. Squat down, press up. Squat down, press up. Come on. Oh, come on. Power round. Two more, one more. Good job, bring it down. Gentle. Straight into an Arnold press. Woo. I'm feeling it, you know. Let's get it. One, two, rotate. Three, four, good job. Five, come on. Six, seven. Eight, I'm feeling it guys. Nine, come on. 10, together. 11, 12, well done. You ready? All the plank movements. It's gonna be intense, but we're not stopping. Let's get it. Arm out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10. Nine, eight, ooh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, stretch it out. Just doing a little child's pose because that felt naughty. Oh, 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 who felt that? Woo! That burn! Oh my god. You ready? Childers house. We've got to do it. We've got to push through. One, two, come on. Three, four, five, six, push. Nine, ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You are a champ. You are a champ. Oh, you know what? I ain't lying to you. That arm out into a, I have a pump. I don't know if you guys have a shoulder pump right now. My shoulder pump is crazy. I can just feel it. Just go, love it. I actually love it. I'm chasing the pump. Right, whenever I do these lives, I sound crazy. But whenever I'm out of breath, I say some of the craziest things when I'm out of breath, I swear to God. It's like really and truly when I do those hit workouts with you guys, the back of my head, I'm like, I cannot sound exhausted. I'm everyone's trainer. I cannot sound exhausted. Deep down, I'm like, I'm so exhausted. These are really hard. But look, you're keeping me motivated. I hope I'm keeping you motivated. I hope you do one of these workouts. I know, I know, I know you can get through one of them. I know you can. It's you, of course you can. If I can do it, you can do it. Who am I? Oh God, I struggle all the time. So honestly, if I can do it, you can do it. We have one more round. That's it, one more round. If this is too much for you, please do one round. Come back tomorrow, try two. Come back in a week, try three. It's all about progression. If you give up right now, if you tell yourself you can't do something, you are never, ever, ever gonna progress. It starts with one attempt, two attempts, three, a hundred attempts. You just gotta keep going. You're never, ever, ever gonna stop progressing. I promise you that, but you've gotta keep going. But if you give up already, before you've even started to progress, you're just letting yourself down, and I'm gonna be honest with you. So don't give up, get yourself up. If this has been too difficult, then do two rounds. Come back and do another round another day. If this is too easy for you, then do another round. Do five rounds, challenge yourself, and let me know in the comments below. Okay, you ready? One last round. We're gonna smash it. We're gonna feel it, we're gonna smash it, we're gonna win. You ready? In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Put it down. Push up, let's get it. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, woo, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Good job. Squat into a press, we're using the heavier weight. Good job. Let's get it. 12 reps. Three, two, one. Don't give up on me. Let's go. Dig deep. One, two, ten more. Ten, come on. Nine, seven, six, five. Four, come on. Three, two, come on. One, you did it. Good job. Arnold press. You're not giving up. Three more exercises, and that's it. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, come on, we're working. Eight, nine, we're working. 10, 11, 12, woo! Oh, felt that one. All right, 
the dreaded planks. The dreaded planks. If this is too much, go on your knees, but try and push yourself. Are you ready? Come on, we've got this in us. Two more exercises. Arm out. In three, two, one. Let's get it, team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight into shoulder taps. One, come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, quarter, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are done. Woo! Oh, your shoulders should be absolutely on fire. 